Hello everyone, my name is Martin and today I will be taking you through the creating a flexible turntable in Maya. So this video, or this tutorial rather, will consist of two parts. The first one where I will be creating our basic setup and in the second video I will make the turntable flexible and easy to use. So with that, let's get started. Now, before we create anything here in Maya, I would like to explain what the turntable is and what you use it for. So, basically, it's a camera that revolves around a specific point in our scene. So that way we can show off uh, what we have built or uh, what we have textured or it's uh, essentially something you use to show off your work. So that now that we know what a turntable is and what you use it for, um, let's create one. So you can see right now I'm in the perspective view and uh, the uh, turntable camera will actually be based on the perspective view. So keep that in mind while we create this. Uh, the second thing we need to know before we create it is that we need to have a point um, that the camera will revolve around so we could use our airplane right here but I prefer to use um, something like a locator so let's create that let's build it up a bit and scale it up like that and I'm gonna frame in on this and maybe position my camera a bit something like that is fine um, I'm also gonna uh, turn on my resolution gate so that we know what uh, we will see in our camera later uh, when we render so you can see we have some uh, space here so let's just position it um, that's fine so with our locator selected let's go up to animation um, animate and turntable now if we open up the options we can see that we have two attribute attributes we have number of frames and this is basically how many frames it takes for the camera to revolve one time around our model and we also have the direction so let's, uh, we can actually change this later, so let's keep it at stock and hit turntable. Okay, so we can see that our camera has changed from perspective view to turntable camera 1. And if we open up the outliner, we can see we have our locator and we have this group. Now this group is actually made for the turntable camera and it's the group that rotates around our point. So let's go ahead and name this uh, turntable group and turntable shot cam. Okay, so if we rewind this and play this back we can see that was very quick but we only had 24 frames so it was expected um, so that's our first problem now we can actually see that the speed of the spin is actually not linear so um, you can see that the camera starts slow it uh, accelerates and then uh, slows down at the end Okay, so let's fix this. Um, let's select our camera and hit the up arrow to select our group, which is the uh, group that revolves. And let's go to Window, uh, Animation Editors, Graph Editor. And this is our rotation uh, graph right here. So the first problem we had was that the speed wasn't linear. So let's take our graph here and set it to linear. Uh, 
Okay, that looks good. Um, the fir the second problem we had, or actually, um, you can see that after 24 frames, the uh, the camera stops revolving. So, if we want more than one lap around our model, um, let's just take our graph and set the curves to linear, post the infinite linear, and uh, let's set a view, inf infinity, and you can see that the curves goes on. And if we play this back, that's the case. Okay, so we have our uh, first problem solved. Uh, now let's take this point, and you can see that and this point is set to at frame 24 uh, the rotation is 360 degrees so it's actually very fast so um, let's take the frames up to something like uh, 360 oops let me do that again yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so now if we play this back, much, much better. And now we can start to see the detail of our model. And yeah, this looks, looks very good actually. Okay, so now we have our basic turntable um, up and running. And in the next video, we will make it flexible and easy to use. So uh, I see you then.